All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Makak Wadash. Double honors to the Apostle and those of great millstone were teaching to us, Dorm St. Truthful, for in the bottom of well. And peace and blessings so afflict the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You now we'll get into the Lord's will and edifying lesson. You know, I got a little quote on the uh, screen. You know, just a little picture I had saved on, saved in the phone. Today's lesson is going to be entitled Rejoice, a uh, Redemption Draw of Nigh. You see, uh, this is uh, St. Matthew's 13 and 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and for your and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Right? I remember um a little while back, Apostle Ramla, you know, asked brothers when he read this scripture on the live chat, you know, what is this talking about? You know, what is it that they desire to see? You know, they desire to see you know, ultimately, you know, the signs leading up to our Lord, you know, making his second return, you know, and we are in, you know, those times, you know, and that's why it's a blessing for us to have this eyesight, for us to have received this anointing, you know, to be able to understand this truth and receive it in our minds, right? This is a St. Matthew 24 and 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? You see, so the, the, the disciples want to know, when, when? When are these things going to be? Well, you know, what's going to be the signs? What we should be, what should we be looking for? You know? And that's why our people should be asking today, you know, and the Lord has revealed <clears throat> uh, uh, these mysteries unto his servants, the prophets, you know, of the things that are, uh, you know, that we should be watching for, you know, real quick. This is a uh, second Ezra. You know, I just want to get some examples of men that ask these questions. Second Ezra six and 58. But we, thy people, whom thou has called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands, given into the hands of the heathen, right? If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure, right? How long shall these things endure, you know? That's what the prophet Ezra was asking. You know, the disciples asked Yahweh Shah when he came back. He said, Without well, this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. You know, so they want to know. This is um Saint Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty seven, for yet a little while and he for yet a little while and he that shall come will come. And will not tarry for yet a little while, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to come, right? And we, as the believers of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, have been given the signs, right? And where are some of those signs? You know, as you read here in Matthew 24 and uh, 6, it says, And ye shall hear wars, right? And rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You see? So you see these things happening in the world today. You know, you're hearing about the wars, you know, uh, you know, you're hearing about uh China and Russia, you know, gaining you know, building an alliance to come up against America. Right, you're hearing about different uh pestilence in diverse places, you're hearing about different earthquakes, you're hearing about uh, a, a, a supply shortage, right? You're hearing about upwards of the people, you're hearing about all these things that Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, told us to look for, and that's why 
the lesson is called rejoice, right? This is a uh, St. Luke. You know, now is not the time to be in a, you know, woe is me spirit, you know, down and out. Now is the time to, you know, uh, watch and rejoice as the Heavenly Father is working a mighty work in these last days. This is a uh, St. Luke 21 and 28. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, the prophecies, the things that we, you know, the short little excerpt that we just read, you know, in 2nd Ezra 9 and 1, right? He told Ezra to measure thou the time diligently within itself, right? And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and the Lord visits the world by bringing judgment upon it, right? And that's how we know that the Heavenly Father is fed up with this place by how much judgment and plagues he's bringing, you see? It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is manifest, meaning the end is being made known, is is live action, is being revealed. You can see the end. The end is, you know, is, is right in, before our very eyes, you know. So here back in Luke. It's telling us when we when we shall see um, St. Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass. So when, when we start to see these things come to pass. Have we have been given, you know, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. You know, it says, then look up, right? And lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, right? You look up. You know, uh, sh you know, uh, and, and and lift up your heads. You know, the uh, the feeble knees, right? Being all down and out. You know, we we're, now's the time uh, to rejoice as we are witnessing the downfall of our enemy and the redemption of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the, the the redemption of our of the nation of Israel, Yahweh by Shema Shai, saving his people. You know, is 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 drawing nigh. You see, it's getting closer and closer day by day. You know, it's getting closer. You know, and that's why we have to continue to watch, continue to pray, because you continue to watch and pray. You know, those things that are happening in the world, they comfort you, right? This is um. Let's see where this is at. I believe it's, um, just kind of want to read this, but, um, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, uh, verse 7, right? It says, there be nine things in my heart, right? There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, in the tenth will I utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, right? So Yah Bashima Shai is allowing us to see the fall of our enemy. And that's counted to be joyful in the Holy Scriptures. That's counted as something that we should be uh rejoice. You know, rejoicing about. We should be very happy. That the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, is hearing our prayers. You know, he's hearing our cries. He he has not all together altogether for, forsaken us. Right? This is Psalm 92 and 11. My eye also shall see my desire upon my enemies. And my ear shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Right? So we're going to see... Our desire that upon our enemies and what's our desire for our enemies to go down, for our enemies to be taken out of the way, for Yahweh by Shema Shai to set up his kingdom, you know, to set up his authority and 
rulership upon the earth. You know, this is what we're uh, patiently waiting for. And ultimately, we see Yahweh by Shemal Shai working. We see the Lord doing uh, mighty things in the earth. And now is the time, you know, to be in the spirit of rejoicing. You know, rather than just being all down and out, woe is me. You know, now is the time uh, to fight, you know, and pray that Yahweh by Shemal Shai you know, be with us as things are only going to get harder, things are only going to get tougher, you know, but, um, get one more scripture and close it out, this is, um, First Peter's, I'm going to kind of bring this out real quick, I'm looking for, a uh, one in James, but it's no biggie, you know, keep the lesson short, this is, uh, First Peter's 4 and 7, but the end of all things is at hand, right? Be therefore sober and watch on to prayer. So be sober minded, right? Understanding what the will of Yahweh by Shema Washai is and continue to watch. You know, con continue to do the work, continue to do the sit down lessons, continue to pray, a uh, fast study, right? Brothers have been, you know, getting on brothers, you know, who may not know to get into the Hebrew more. You know, to get into uh, anointing oneself more, to get into uh, praying more. You know, as the end of all things is at hand, we're going to need that relationship with Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, uh, uh, now more than ever. You see? Look at James 5 and 8. This is uh, James 5 and 8. Be also patient. Establish your heart. For the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Right? The coming of Yahweh by Shema Washai is drawing nigh. So establish your heart, establish your mind, you know, and uh, ultimately it's time to rejoice. You know, the Lord's coming back, you know, uh, you know, Yahweh by Shema Washai is truly with us, you know, and uh, he, he will not at all forsake us. But, you know, with that, Lord's willing, you're edified. Till next time I'm saying, Shalom.